He is a social activist, an officer of the Order of Canada, a BC business leader and philanthropist. Michael O'Dane is now an author too, releasing his autobiography this week. It's called One Man in This Time. And Michael O'Dane has taken the time to talk to us today. Hello there. Hi, Gloria, good to see you. Well, good to see you too. Now, I'm gonna put you on the spot right off the top here. If I were to, to ask you, who is Michael O'Dane? Uh, what would you say? Well, I, I've been uh, sort of trying to discover that myself. <laughs> so um, I, I, I've never spent much time thinking about my past because I'm always so so busy uh, with different projects in my business in the uh, in the uh, area of culture. That's the visual arts that I take a lot of interest in, and of course with family. So, uh, uh, but one of the things. Uh, I, I uh, found in, uh, when you start to write about your past, you, you do discover and learn a little bit more about yourself that you didn't know. No, that's, that must be a very, a very intimate journey, I think, of, of self-discovery. And, you know, do you describe how you, your life never really had a, a formal business plan? You just kind of went where your interests took you. So how much of your success would you say has been just you know, good timing? And, and how much of it is recognizing a good thing when you see it and just going for it? Well, I, I don't really know how successful I've been, uh, but uh, I never thought of uh, life really in, in those terms. But I, I, I guess um, uh, a lot of people have, have, over the years did ask me, to account for myself, how, how did you, as a, a, a fairly um, uh, act, uh, social activist, uh, uh, and um, uh, when you were younger, how, how did you become a, a residential developer? Not too many of my um, colleagues in the uh, development industry have that background, and um, I, I, I didn't know myself. But in thinking back about it, I think uh, uh, Lady Luck uh, really uh, played a a large part of the role because uh, there were times I could have gone in easily in other directions and um, I have played many parts uh, but uh, thinking back you know if I'd been successful in getting the uh, nomination uh, the NDP nomination for uh, Vancouver Kingsway in the um, early 1970s uh, maybe I, I would have had a career in, in Parliament um, uh, on the other hand if I'd uh, stuck with uh, the airline uh, that I was working for in the um, in the 1950s, maybe I would have um, ended up uh, flying a, um, a a one of those big uh, buses in the sky for um, most of my life. But you know, uh, things changed. I had some uh, some breaks, some ups and downs, and um, then halfway through my life, I, I suddenly found myself in in starting uh, in in business, which I was a not something I, I never really aimed for in the first place. Well, it turns out you have quite a touch with that too. And it's interesting to hear how there were not not one fork in the road, but it sounds like you had many forks in the road along that, that life's path. Now, uh, but let's go back because you did mention, you know, social activism. What, what do you still think about when, when you remember your, your Freedom Rider days? Well, I, 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 um, I, I do, I do, uh, Think about it occasionally, and and um, uh, you know it's uh, it, it's more um, th that things have changed so much o over the years. Uh, when I was uh, involved in the civil rights movement, it was kind of okay for um, uh, someone with my color of skin to be involved, and I, I was very much welcomed down in the um, in the South in, in Mississippi. But uh, I'm not sure it's the same today. I I, I think that. Um, uh, different uh, groups in, in society um, want want to make their own presence um, known and uh, not de not depend on um, uh, other um, groups. But um, you know, I, I, I come from the um, Martin Luther King days when uh, we were all encouraged to uh, get involved. It was uh, black and white together in those days. And but things have things have changed. Maybe they they needed to change and. Uh, as, as uh, people are, don't don't need um, the, the, such a broad-based uh, uh, coalition of uh, of young people, but um, um, I, I, my heart is still very much in um, 
in, in for change in society and uh, and for social justice and uh, it's just that I, I also spend my time on other issues at the moment. Michael, you've had quite a life so far. How, how does it feel to, to just lay it all out there in this book? Well, I, I, I thought I would uh, do so. It's, uh, it's probably uh, a lot more laid out than uh, what some people would expect a, um, a businessman of um, <laughs> on my age to, uh, to, to do. But uh, I, I, I felt that uh, I should uh, try to uh, account for where I've been and some of the strange things I've uh, been involved in and um, and also uh, the, the, the good times and uh, the times when uh, if I seem successful today as you, you, you say successful I, it's not a word I use but but uh, I, there's been times when I, I had great despair also and it's a question of how, how, I, how you deal with that and um, but I, I've been so fortunate uh, to live in uh, Vancouver and uh, British Columbia, the, the two places I, I, I love so much in, in the world, and, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, a great privilege to, to be able to help out in a small way when we can do that. Michael Audane, what a pleasure, and congratulations on this memoir. Thank you so much, Gloria.